Hello everyone, this is Adam Howard, and today I'm going to show you very quickly Flipgrid. Flipgrid is a new classroom application that came out over the summer. I've already started using it in my class on day one, and the kids really enjoy it. So I wanted to get a video out there to uh, give you guys a heads up, because I think that you would uh, really enjoy using it in your classroom and in professional development. So I'm going to start by showing you the student view about how we end up here. Um, what this application is, is it's a uh, basically a video conversation app. Uh, you create a prompt with a up to three minute video. You can attach uh, external videos, PDFs, links, uh, whatever you want to use for a prompt, you just attach it here. And then you link this code or you get a direct link and you can post that to Google Classroom or send it in an email. And your students click on that or your coworkers and it, takes, and it brings them to this page right here. What they do is they click on this green button and they get a 90 second video response. All right, and then once they're through with their video response, they take a thumbnail, and then there's some stickers to choose from to put over their faces if they'd like, like you see here, um, that they really enjoy. So yeah, all right, so let's take a look at my prompt video here. All right, guys, and this is our introduction to Flipgrid and also our introduction to you. Uh, the first thing I want you to do is you're going to hit that little green plus down there and you're going to record a 90 second response video to this. Um, you can add all kinds of emojis and stuff, uh, so feel free to play with that um, and be as creative as you want to be. But what I want you to do is uh, introduce yourself and, uh, and make sure you let us know how to pronounce your name because that's something I definitely want to get right. And all right, and then you go down and the students will have their responses. Hi, my name is Yomar Guerrero. I'm from Puerto Rico. I like to play sports and video games. I'm planning to go to college and graduate from Chef. I want to. All right. Hi, my name is Felina, and um, this round's Felina, and I'm 15 years old. And my favorite food is tacos. So. And this is great because it gives the students uh, real equity in the voice that they have in your classroom because every Hi, student gets the Anna same Gonzalez. amount of time. The meaning of my name is the nodding things, the nodding things associated with person, place, or feel in interested. I'm from Honduras. My favorite hobbies are play soccer. Um, all right, see? So every student gets the same amount of your time. They get they get 90 seconds to respond, and then they get to uh, watch each other's responses and go through. And um, one of the things they can do are, are these emojis Hi. down here at the bottom. They can respond to each other's videos um, through the five different emojis here. And then they can see how many people have viewed their video, which they think is very interesting. Um, as you can see here, our, uh, our introduction videos have gotten almost seven hours worth of engagement and close to 900 views. Um, and that's just from a couple of classes. So uh, some serious student engagement in Flipgrid. All right, the first thing you're going to do to get started is go to Flipgrid. Just search Flipgrid and go to flipgrid.com. And um, then you're going to go up here to create free account and fill in your information. Once you've filled in your information, you're going to hit create my grid. Now, with the free account, you get one grid at a time, which a grid can be um, a section or a class or however you want to use it. I use it for all of my classes. Um, you're going to give your grid a name. All right, and you're going to give your grid a purpose, if you would like. And then you have some privacy and security savings down here, some of which uh, you will have access to and some of which are uh, with the paid account version. All right, and then you're going to get to pick your background. We're going to do cat with glasses. I think that's a good one. All right, and now your grid is ready. Now you're good to add a topic. Now you get one grid, but you can add as many topics as you would like with the free account. Um, we're gonna hit new topic. You're gonna give your topic a title. All right, and the video response time is locked in with the with the free version. I think with the paid version, you can mess with it a little bit, but uh, I think a minute and a half is a, is a good time. So we're gonna stick with that. Um, and then the, your topic or description of question. And then, um, you have your topic resources. You can record a video, upload a video, uh, add an image, a GIF, or an emoji. Um, this is where you're going to record your video. So you can click this and record to up to a three-minute video. Uh, for your prompt, you can add a topic attachment, um, a featured link, a featured title, uh, and then you have your response features here. One thing that you can do is you can click on response moderation so that you uh, have the opportunity to look at videos before they're posted to your grid. And then you hit create topic. It's going to give you 
a direct link to your whole grid and then a uh, direct link to your topic, uh, which you can copy paste into Google Classroom, or you can just go to your topic. All right, and here's our topic page with our um, prompt, which we have a short prompt here. If you have a video, um, it'll it'll be right here. Um, and then you can hit share topic, and there's your Google Classroom button to share it directly to Google Classroom. And that's all you do. You share out that link, and then the students will be able to respond to your prompt. All right, I hope you found this useful. Um, I think this is a great program. It really brings uh, an equity to voice in your classroom. Every student gets a chance to talk for the same amount of time, um, and everybody and every student gets your attention for the same amount of time. I think that it's a, it's a great tool to make sure everybody's included.